Hey friends, it's Lindsay from Hello Hydrangea. This is the state of my studio right now. It is crazy. But today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make some patterns with twining. I used a super chunky yarn for this, um, and it's all done with twining, just how you wrap the yarns around each other. You can use this technique with any yarn, but I love how quickly the chunky yarn weaves up. You will need two colors of it. It works best if you don't have to make as many knots while you are working, so measure a really long piece to work with. Start by knotting the edges together loosely, just to make sure the yarn doesn't slip out of place while you are working on the first row. Depending on how densely you warped your loom, you can choose how many warp strings to go over for each twine. I'm going over two warp strings at a time. If you've learned how to twine before, this should look familiar. The bottom yarn goes over the top and behind the next warp string and repeat. It will make an upward facing diagonal stripe when the colors alternate. Do this twice. Now on the third time, pause. Guide your bottom yarn straight behind the next warp string. This is the starting point of switching directions. Then start twining in the opposite direction so that the top yarn goes under the bottom and behind the next warp string and repeat. Do this twice. On the third time, pause and guide your top string straight behind the next warp string again. This switches direction and you will now start twining just like regular. Repeat this over and over. Twine two, switch directions. Twine two, switch directions, etc. until you get to the edge of the row. Turning around is the trickiest part and to be honest, I haven't really found a tried and true technique yet because it changes based on color placement and twining direction. But if you want the rows to line up so that they create larger diamonds, you will need the switching points to line up on the same warp strings as the row below. The twining directions will match for two rows and then they will be the opposite of that for two rows. You can go to the link in my profile to find a link to a blog post where I will post a pattern to follow along if that helps. It's so satisfying to finish a row and then push it down to line up with the row below and see another part of the pattern emerge. You can also try making smaller diamonds that line up by switching the direction of the twining on every other row. It will look like this. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. There are actually a lot of different techniques and patterns you can make with twining. This is just an example. You can learn more about twining patterns in the class linked in my description. Head to my website, hellohydrange.com if you want to learn about weaving. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube and follow me on Instagram. On my website, I have kits, free tutorials, and dozens of classes, so you'll be weaving like a pro in no time. <laughs>